when this movie got to the specific scene at the end, I was like, please cut it there, please cut it there, please cut it there. And then it ended there and I was so freaking happy. <laughs> I, was, I was so happy because I was so glad it ended on the note that it did. Hi, welcome back to Movie Husbands. Today we're going to be reviewing Sound of Metal, which is directed by Darius Martyr. It is currently streaming on Amazon Prime. So Sound of Metal stars Riz Ahmed and Olivia Cooke. Riz Ahmed plays a character named Ruben, who is going through the process of currently losing his hearing. And he joins this kind of deaf uh, substance abuse community. That's kind of the journey that this movie takes us on. So Jeffrey, what do you uh, think about Sound of Metal? So I think uh, Sound of Metal uh, is kind of a movie that we've seen before. And just being subjective about it, it's a movie that I'm kind of a sucker for. It's a character piece about somebody who's overcoming some sort of insurmountable or seemingly insurmountable problem. Um, maybe a problem that you and I don't have to deal with on a daily basis. And it's about his journey to accept that. And I thought that Sound of Metal was pretty effective in a lot of ways. Yeah, I really liked uh, kind of hearkening to what you were saying, is that the movie really kind of puts you in the shoes of somebody who's losing their hearing. Mm -hmm. It might not be an experience that you and I can relate to, um, but I think the movie did a great job of kind of displaying what that would be like. Sure, you're totally right. There is um, scenes in the beginning um, where he has not learned sign language yet, and he's sitting at a table of a, with a bunch of people that have learned sign language and they're all talking to each other in sign language and there's no subtitles. So we're as lost and feel as much of an outsider from this community as he is. Sometimes you're seeing sound from his point of view. Sometimes you're seeing it from a kind of omniscient point of view. Yeah, so not just the sound design, but also the, the captions and kind of when they decide to utilize certain sounds and the captions uh, kind of puts you in this perspective where the certain times during the movie where one of your senses is completely blocked. And I think from the perspective of a viewer, uh, you're kind of going through this experience in a way that I don't think I felt in a film in quite a while. Yeah, and I uh, there maybe there are some out there. I've never seen a film that really dove as deeply into the deaf community as this film has and shows all of the tools they have to accept you know, what has happened to them or accept that they don't have the sense that many people have. There's this really great scene, and we should kind of say that the, the sound design in this movie is, is really good. Yeah. Um, but there's some scenes where you're not really hearing sounds, you're hearing vibrations. There's this great scene in the playground where he's outside with this child and he starts kind of, because he's a metal, a heavy metal drummer, he starts kind of drumming on the uh, the slide and the child starts listening to the slide, uh, another deaf child to kind of hear the vibrations and it's almost the closest thing that they have to hearing music again. There's another similar scene where they all have their hands on a piano as somebody plays and they can kind of feel the notes and the vibrations but all of those vibrations come through in the sound design which is very cool. Yeah, I gotta say uh, what's interesting is when this movie started, I wasn't really feeling it and as the movie started to progress, I kind of got more and more emotionally evolved, involved with this movie. And that was pretty much that moment, the scene on the slide and the piano. I loved, this was kind of the movie like started to hit its jive for me. And I really enjoyed kind of like these really intimate moments. I think that um, he certainly has, there's a lot of kind of emotional potency to the scenes. The scenes that are really supposed to hit hard, I think do. Um, if I had a criticism of the film, I think that we weren't given enough background or maybe kind of psychological insight to this character. The spareness of the film is kind of a, a good thing in a sense. I like how bare bones it is, but at the same time it comes with um, some flaws. And I think those flaws are some of the details of these characters we really don't get to learn. Yeah, I think, I mean, they're obviously going for kind of focusing on this main story. So I think they just kind of accepted that they were going to deal with just plopping us into this kind of world having us figure out some things and then just kind of accept that as what it is and kind of go from there without knowing the backstory. And I think thematically it's a really inspirational film. Um, it certainly has moments of bleakness and especially in the first half that are not the easiest to watch but I think where we arrive towards the end and this has probably one of my favorite movie endings of the year so far um, it, it's really a point of acceptance and I think inspiration. When this movie got to the specific scene at the end 
I was like, please cut it there, please cut it there, please cut it there. And then it ended there and I was so freaking happy. <laughs> I was I was so happy because I was so glad it ended on the note that it did. Okay, so you ready to go to our grades? Yeah, I'm ready. I, I'm going to give this movie a B plus. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, I think the sound editing and mixing was top notch. It was one of my favorite parts of the movie, um, along with the actors and the story. Um, I, I highly recommend this movie. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm at a B. I think that um, it's definitely powerful in moments. It's maybe a little too long, I think. There's maybe a little too much space in it. But at the same time, I think those powerful moments are, are really worth the journey. And I definitely appreciate how it uses these things that we love about films, things like you know sound design and editing to really um, use for the sake of empathy for this character. And that's a review of Sound of Metal. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you for the next one.